Hey everyone, it's Charlotte here from Eggly and Creations. Um, I wanted to share with you one of my uh, blind box purchases that I just made. Um, this one's from Kawaii Mold Supply. It was a, a lot of B grade molds, and so by B grade, she means um, they might be um, have minor imperfections in them, so there might be um, some like eyelash or like a hair caught in it, but the actual cavity itself is fine. Or if there is something with the cavity, it's it's a minor flaw, so it's definitely still usable. Uh, so let's see which ones I ended up getting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I open it up and I didn't realize the whole thing is um, filled basically to the brim. Oh yeah, let's see if I can get it. So, first one I see is this cute little heart mold. Um, and literally, it says cute um, on it. Oh, that'll be so cute as a little uh, necklace. Um, and I do see what they mean by a B grade. You can see this has some like minor imperfections here. I don't really care about these sort of things because I end up uh, making mine uh, much shinier anyways and adding another layer of resin. So there is the first one. Oh, look, it's a little uh, kuma. It's probably a Ria kuma or coral kuma shaker mold. Very cute. I actually don't really see any imperfections on this one. Um, I mean, it just looks like to me one of the like a 3D mold thing where you can actually see a little bit of the texture, but whatever. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So it's a little pineapple guy with his little facey. Um, this is really awesome. My uh, fiance, he loves and is obsessed with pineapples. He actually has a tattoo of a pineapple on him, so I'll make him something cute that'll probably never wear, but I'll make it and I'll force him to wear it. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my gosh, look, it's a little avocado toast. So it looks like you got your little avo your toast here, your little avocado. You could even make that to look in like an egg. Um, once again, I don't really see any imperfections on this one. I mean, there's a minor scratch there, but honestly, after using plastic molds, they'll scratch like that anyways, just from being used. Let's see, what's this one? I, I think it's like a little lollipop TV sort of thing. It almost reminds me of a, uh, a switch but like a switch on a lollipop. Either way, super cute. I see there's a little imperfection here, but really not enough to matter. Um, oh, it's Ditto! Look at his cute little dumb face. The little Ditto shaker. So see here, there's one little air bubble. Not a big deal, especially since it's in the corner. Um, you can even like cover that spot up with, that's where you would like put the liquid in and end up covering it back up. Ooh, this one looks like a cat. Um, it looks like there's a little, oh, nope, that was just me. Um, but you can actually see the little kitty scrap of the, uh, whiskers here. And then we've got a little unicorn wand. With some stars. Super cute. Seriously, super cute. Let's see. It's a little deep of a mold, but hey damn Alright. We got some jelly beans. Let's see. I mean I see some. It almost looks reminds me of um hot glue sort of thing, but once again, the actual cavities itself are super nice. Oh, 
like it's a little drippy apple. Super cute. And then once again, so here's a little imperfection, um, but it looks like, I mean, that's an area that you would go in and fill anyways and paint, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I have like cat fur that keeps getting on me. Let's see. <gasps> Yay, more moon molds. These actually look like the exact same moon molds I already have um, in my Onyx set. Let's see if I can... Oh my gosh, they're close enough. Uh, this is my very, very loved moon mold. Um, let's see. It's like almost identical, so that's awesome for me. Oh, yay! Look, it's a little razor. I will use this over and over and over again. It's so cute. This will be probably one of the first ones I use. I've wanted one of these. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I really don't see like there's a little texture but I'm gonna dome those anyways mm -hmm. got some cute mouth they almost remind me of um like cookies kind of thing super cute and then it looks like we have some keys one with a heart one with just a regular key with wings. Cute. I will use these. We've got a little ice cream shaker mold. Let's see. Super cute. Okay, and then... I'm not really sure what this is supposed to, oh, is it the, or like the three witches, I think? Henderson sisters or whatever? Uh -huh. Oh, we have another um, little lollipop sort of-esque thing with a moon and some heart and wings. Cute. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I've got a little Sailor Moon mold. I had one of these before, but it was like so small and it was so hard to paint these things that I ended up like giving it away. But I'm excited. Oh, I've got a little Tamagotchi shaker here with some wings. Cute, I like the little heart in the center. Oh my gosh, there's still so many in here. Okay. Uh, a little otter with a heart. Cute. Little diamond wand. Honestly, this reminds me of my scene days and everybody like drew these diamonds everywhere. Okay. Oh, look who it is. It's Calcifer. So we have him. That'll be cute. Ooh, and I have a little pony. Got lots of little Legos here. Lots of cavities. Funness to either paint or um, have different colors accented. Oh my gosh, this guy's so big. Like, huge resin piece um, of a nice roll blade. Cute. Not sure what I'll do with this. Oh, I have another one. Cute. Still not sure what they are, but cute. Oh, good little ghosty guy. Ghost hugs. Cute. Okay, we have another wand. Let's see. Oh, I have another ghosty. How cute. So this one, you can kind of, you can really see the damage here, but like with this texture, with most 3D printed ones, I'd, molds, I'd end up covering in a clear layer, so it doesn't really matter for me. Um, and then it looks like I have another shaker. 
cute. Oh my gosh, more. I'll have to be making shakers again. Okay. I've got a cute little Mount Fuji here. And a bigger version of that little cat biscuit sort of thing that I saw earlier. And a little kitty ghost. Or I'm thinking kitty ghost. Oh my goodness, there's still so much. I have this cutie. It's really big. Um, that might that might be really perfect for a necklace. We'll see. <laughs> so we have a rainbow and then a squirrel. Cute. A giant jelly. Jelly bean shaker. Giant skull. Pretty cool. Um, I have, it looks like, uh, astrological signs. Um, cute. <laughs> so it's weirdo. Perfect. More jelly beans. Cute little paw for the beans. A little Yoshi egg. Super cute. Oh my gosh, my molds are starting to like fall off of the edge here. Okay, we have a nice little heart skeleton. Nice little cute spider. Oh, yes! Oh. This is one I've had on my wish list for like, honestly, ever. Um, and like, I'm so happy right now that I got this in my blind box. So, yes! Like, look how cute it's gonna be. It's a little pill shaker and then it's on a wand. <laughs> um, and then I've got another little Riyakuma, Korokuma, little beverage shaker. And then I have the bow um, from uh, Hanako. What is it? Toilet bound Hanako kun? Hanako san? Um, what that she wears on her. Which is really funny because I was thinking about cosplaying her even though she's like a high schooler and I'm not. But it's still such a cute show. You guys should watch it if you haven't. Um, Alright, for my last bit of my blind molds. Okay, so I've got a cute little tea bag. Oh, this will be perfect. I kind of want to make it like an anxiety tea bag. <laughs> Um, I have a little bat slimy wand, which is perfect. I actually already have this sort of thing that I use as a ring, so this will match it. <gasps> Yay! It's a little prescription bottle shaker. Super cute! All these men hair ones I'll like use right away. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm excited to use these. They're slimy and sparkly and alieny and cat and they're perfect. They're everything I want. <sighs> okay, so those are all my molds that I got for, I think it was like $25 for all of these molds because they're all B grade. Here, I'll definitely recommend her, um, Kawaii Mold Supply. Um, has a lot of like creepy cute as well as just cute and spacey cute um so yeah these are from that um and then it looks like here you go picked out some molds i thought you'd like how cute is that um so i already would be blown away if i just got this um i can't believe it that I got even more things from her. Um, 
Like I said, I've already purchased stuff from her before and I really like the quality and especially the theme of everything. So let's see what's in these. Oh my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> so here, I'll do it here so you guys can see like that. So. <laughs> So I say UGG like at least four or five times a day at work, um, so this is perfect. Um, and it's got the drippy. I will love the absolutely UGG out of this. Can't wait. Um, let's see. What's this? It looks like a little snail. Or, oh, derp. It's just a little um, grenade, little grenade shaker, which is also super cute. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's just the heart versions of those skulls, but super drippy and creepy and cute and perfect. Let's see. Oh, and then we have it as a butterfly and a giant bow. I use this bow all the time. Um, I'm stuck to get it in a slightly bigger version because that'll go better on some of my stuff. Let's see. What else do we have? <gasps> a cute little compito. Compeito. I always try to, I get too excited when I say it and I end up like messing it up. Um, I got it in the little shaker and just regular by itself. <gasps> we got some Nardo fish cakes. <gasps> These are super cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, and then I've got some cute little uh, paint palettes here with a little heart instead of like regular blots of ink or paint. So I'm excited. I can fill each one in with a different color and it'll be like super cute and it'll be nice and rainbow and oh yeah. Okay. See? <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at Ezra Daruma. He's so cute. Oh, and it's, it, I didn't even notice a little face. It's ditto. See, it's so cute. Oh, this will be so much fun. And then I got some docs. So this is pretty great because they're, everybody here wears docs and I like wear docs all the freaking time because I live in Portland area and it rains all the time. So I wear these everywhere. Um, so I'm excited to make some like really sparkly dogs. And yeah, so here's all of my massive, massive amount of molds that I can now play with. Like, there's seriously so many I don't even know what to do with. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Akito. Um, I love everything. I'm not really sure what to even do. I'm so overwhelmed by this many molds. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Kawaii Multiply. I'll leave the link below. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see me um, kind of do a giant unboxing video for and then use them. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boop.